Right, just for the avoidance of doubt, one or two people were concerned that this channel might turn into a photography channel. Can I just assure you right now, that's not going to happen. Reviews of photography equipment are going to be few and far between. I just thought it would be nice to share bits and pieces of equipment with you. Equipment that's suitable for carrying on your bike while you're on holiday or just for a day out or whatever. And just perhaps take some of the guesswork out of getting together a basic photography kit for your travels. Now I was into photography long before I was into bikes. Basically because you didn't need a license to have a camera but you didn't need a license to have a bike. And I remember it was one of the greatest experiences of my life when I first got a bike license and I was actually able to travel to places that were interesting photography wise in order to indulge my hobby a little bit deeper than I've been able to do without transport. This later developed into an interest in videography which has basically led to this situation that I'm in now on YouTube. Now let's just put cameras to one side for the moment, whether you're into videoing or just taking photographs. We're just coming out of dark days for photography. The advent of camera phones about 20 years ago almost killed the industry off. But in recent years, as people have realized that mobile phone isn't the best tool in the world for taking photographs or recording videos, the industry is starting to bounce back. And I have to say, as it stands at the moment, as far as photography equipment is concerned, we've never had it so good. Now, as I said, just put actual photography equipment like cameras to one side for the moment. I never travel anywhere without a tripod. In fact, I would say 60% of the camera work I do is done with the use of a tripod. And as I mentioned a few weeks ago, I was in the market for a new travel tripod. Now, size and weight on a motorcycle for this kind of equipment is probably more critical than any other type of travel. And there are quite a bewildering amount of travel tripods on the market. In fact, far more than there were 20 or 30 years ago. Now, we're all motorcyclists and we all like exotic materials like carbon fibre. And when it comes to tripods, there's nothing quite like carbon fibre for a good steady erection. Now in the past I've always routinely had three tripods, a large steady one for indoor work and work around the house, a compact travel tripod and a small tabletop tripod. One by one, because of years of use, they've all gradually let me down and I decided that the first replacement was going to be a travel tripod because that's the tripod that I use the most. Now carbon fibre is eminently suited to this kind of use. It's very lightweight, it dampens vibration better, and depending on how it's applied to the construction of the tripod, it's also stronger than aluminium. It also, generally speaking, comes with a pretty hefty price tag, with the big names charging anything from 300 to 1,000 pounds for something very similar to this. Now, there are a number of travel tripods made from carbon fibre in the sub 100 pound bracket, and these are the ones that I was looking at. And looking through all the various photography forums, one name kept coming up more than everyone else, and that was KNF Concepts, a name that seemed to be very highly regarded by both amateurs and seasoned professionals. Now I got this one from Amazon and comparing it with a lot of very similar tripods that were in the similar sort of price bracket it didn't take me long to work out that this was very probably the one to go for. And I have to say both performance and quality wise I am astounded at what this tripod brings to the table. First of all it comes in a very neat and tidy and well made carrying bag which also has some padding to protect the tripod from knocks with a small zip up internal pocket for keeping spare quick release plates that kind of thing in. Now to get this down into its absolute most compact form KNF have adopted the inverted leg storage method. This is a relatively new concept for tripods but most manufacturers seem to be adopting it these days. And fully folded, that allows it to pack down to a length of just 13.6 inches, which is tiny, even for a travel tripod. But fully extended, 
it opens out to a whopping 53.1 inches. Not quite a full height tripod, but getting there. And it's also capable of taking a payload of up to 12 kilograms. Now at the top of each leg there's a slide lock and each leg has two positions. Pressing that side lock locks the leg into your chosen position, ready for use. Now each leg has a five section extension and I'm used to using lever locks. This has twist locks. But once again, they're the bang up to date quarter turn type twist locks. That means you only have to turn each twist lock a quarter of a turn to unlock it and a quarter of a turn back to lock it in position. The twist locks have a very positive action and I really didn't think I would like these, but to be quite honest, I can't fault them. The plus side of these type of locks is that unlike levers, they don't gradually loosen off with age. So you don't start to get that sinking feeling as the tripod gets older and starts to lean over on one side with your valuable camera perched on top. The lower sections of the legs obviously do have a little bit of flex in them because of the small diameter once it's fully extended but despite this I found this to be one of the most sturdy tripods I've ever used I was quite amazed by it the central column again is activated by a simple twist lock to get it up to full height although with an expensive camera on top I would always advise leaving the center column down as far as it'll go if you're ever walking away from your camera and leaving it unattended the construction's a mixture of obviously carbon fiber, what appears to be magnesium alloy, and some engineering grade nylon on the ball head. As I said earlier, there are a lot of tripods that look very similar on the market, and they may even share some of the same components, but it's the connecting components that hold it all together that make or break a tripod. And I'm pleased to say that in this case, everything is of extremely high quality and is all put together very precisely with good tolerances. Now up top is the head, and in this case, it's a photographic head rather than a video head. It's a simple but very well made ball head. Now, most ball heads in this category have two controls, one to tighten up the pan and one to tighten up and release the tilt. In this case, KNF have adopted a single control to loosen off and lock both pan and tilt at the same time. Now, I wasn't sure about this at first, but it is actually a really quick and convenient way of quickly relocating your camera to frame your shot. And having used it for a week or so, I don't think I would go back to the conventional two control ball head. Another nice touch is that they've used a lever type knob rather than the circular knobs. It's a little thing, but it does mean that even with cold hands, it's easy to use and easy to get a very positive lock. This is important when you've got a few hundred or a few thousand pounds worth of camera sitting on top. Now, I had anticipated that I would probably have to swap this head for a fluid head, but in actual fact, I've found it is really good for video work with a nice smooth pan and tilt, although you do have to control the tilt carefully with your hand. The head is mainly aluminium with the actual base plate being some sort of engineering grade nylon and it accepts a standard Arca Swiss type quick release plate. Even with my heaviest video camera I've found this to be really stable. There's no flex and even when lightly locked up the head has no slop or movement, something that you would expect at this price point. Now, I know not everybody needs or wants a tripod. It is a piece of equipment that tends to get overlooked, but these things do come in really handy when you're trying to get a group shot of you and your mates at your favorite destination with your bikes, or even if you're just trying to get that perfect shot of yourself in front of a nice piece of scenery. Once you have a tripod, they become invaluable and a must have for low light or creative photography. Now, durability, the build quality looks to me to be really good. I've bought tripods at this sort of price point in the past and been quite disappointed with them. Tripods are delicate things and they do need to be treated with respect. And that being the case, I've got every reason to believe that this tripod will go the distance. 
This is a rare product. The quality is way above its price point. The performance is way above its price point and its compact size makes it ideal for carrying on a bike. I'll leave a link for it on Amazon in the video description down below for anybody who wants to have a look. Once again, thanks for watching this video and indulging me on my interest in photography. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I'll be back next week. So until then, ride carefully and I'll see you soon.